Hi, I'm Chris Mancini. Uh, been training dogs for sort of 25 years plus and running puppy classes for 15 years. This is Sandy. I've actually only just met her this evening. But we're going to show you the start of teaching the dog to stand between your legs and place both their front feet, one on each of your feet. With a dog that's never done it before, we need to just get them comfortable standing between your legs. So I'm just going to lure Sandy round. Yes, good girl. And this is the position that we want her to be in. Good girl. So we just do that a couple of times. Well done. Oh, she says, I quite like those treats. Good girl. Into position. A little bit nearer. Yes, good girl. I'm just actually going to not use the clicker. I'm going to use my marker word. It's a clicker word. Just because I'm bending down, I don't want to fire it off in her ear, as she doesn't really know me that well. Yes, good girl. Well done. She's comfortable between her feet. Now, what I might try and do, is just see if we can... Yes, good girl. All I'm asking her to do when she's between my legs is give me a paw. Good girl. I'm just feed her a couple of times here just so she's comfortable. Again. And paw. Yes, good girl. Well done. And that's all you do for the start of this exercise. Get the dog comfortable between your legs. And then ideally have your hand so they're targeting that and then you're going to lose your hand target so they're actually going through and putting their foot on your feet. I showed you with Sandy foot, yes, good boy. Um, hand going down, yes. And targeting your hand. So eventually, yes, fade your hand so that he's actually targeting the foot instead. Teach the target on that foot only. Then say, well done, forget about that. Now we we'll just go for this one. But don't worry, like what's happening here, that the other foot's lost. <laughs> and if he happens to get both of them, then that's great. And I think, I think they'll get the idea a bit quicker if you do do it separately. So Duffy, off, off, good boy. Through. So we're just doing this foot now, yes. And you see, he's, he's like, what, do you want two feet on that one? Good boy. So he's now targeting that foot as well. And I'm saying, yep, yeah, well done. And targeting that foot separately. So you can do them both separately before we put them together. Yes, good boy. But he's got two feet there and he's staying there. So what I'm doing is saying, yes, good dog for staying there. Yes, good dog for staying there. Once they're comfortable on two feet, yes, you can start to wiggle your feet about a little bit. Good boy. So that they're comfortable with a little bit of movement going on underneath them. So he's comfortable with that. I'm saying, yeah, good lad, because I'm just feeding. I'm not actually not clicking here. I'm not marking the end of the behaviour because I don't want him to think that he gets off because I'm just saying, yeah, good dog, keep going at what you're doing. And so then we're building up. Because once they're comfortable wiggling, you can walk around with them. And they'll stay in position. You can almost walk backwards with them as well, as long as you're careful not to stand on their back feet. Yes, good boy. OK? And once they've got the idea that whatever movement you're doing, they're keeping both their front feet on your feet, you can do all sorts of sideways, backwards and forwards moving. And if you do want a little bit more of a challenge, you can actually teach them to stand on your feet facing you. So he's now facing Anne with his feet on her feet. So he's moving along that way as well. You can do it with most dogs and with most sized dogs, but obviously if you've got a tiny dog, you need to be careful because obviously they can't stretch their legs that far apart. Um, so you, you'd have to either keep your feet really, really close together and be careful that you don't squash them, um, or do, the, do it this way, the front, so it's a little bit easier for them. They haven't got to stretch their, their, their feet so wide, because obviously as they come through, they're stretching their feet out. The other problem you may have, if you've got a Great Dane or a Newfoundland and only got short legs, it may be a bit trickier to do it. So you'll either need to get somebody to, uh, that's very tall to do it for you, or 
um, do it this way so that they're, they're, they're facing you to do it. So, so, so they, they, they can certainly still do it. Thank you, Anne.